So hello friends in today's video we are going to discuss about the contentionless what is contentionless in the WDM system so before going to the understand the contentionless we must need to know about the traditional WDM system so traditional previous rodems were contentionless it might be little surprise to hear that that the previous rodems were contentionless but it is true let's see how a rodem is contentionless if it is possible to simultaneously add drop the same wavelength or color in different direction. Suppose we have any mux demux system in which we can drop the same wavelength, but that two wavelengths must be coming from different direction. That is the contentionless. Contentionless eliminates the wavelength blocking, allowing the add drop of a duplicate wavelength onto a single mux demux coming from the different direction. This is basically the meaning of the contentionless you can say this is very important it eliminates the wavelength blocking allowing the add drop of a duplicate wavelength means on the same cmd you can drop the same wavelength same lambda but that both same lambda coming must be coming from the different direction that only the requirement note here the direction means one degree is equivalent to one fiber link directions this is a little bit surprise but fixed mux t mux legacy rodems were contentionless a particular wavelength can be added to every direction using separate transponder and these wavelengths can be kept physically separate. This is the reason that the previous or legacy mux demux rodem was contentionless. Let's understand the next slide clearly. So the traditional previous rodem was contentionless. This is a little bit surprised, but let's see. You can see here one, two, three, four. 4 OADM system has 4 direction, direction A, direction B, direction C and direction D. OADM here I can see, I can see in here for the CMD44. This common port, actually this is not the, basically the direction, this common port is going to connect on a particular amplifier or the WSS and the common port of the amplifier or WSS is basically the direction. But I have assumed that this common port is connected to the uh, amplifier. That's why it's called the direction A. Or if it is connected to the WSS, the common port of the WSS is connected to amplifier, and then there is that will be the fiber uh, fiber direction, and that will be one direction. So I will make a separate video for that, but just uh, let's understand here. Let's assume so we want to insert a 1533 wavelength in the direction A, and on same wavelength in direction B. You can see here this wavelength is added for the direction A. The same wavelength is from the direction B, direction C, and direction D. What happens? These all the wavelengths are same, and they all are adding or dropping. You can say for the different direction. That's why I have said the previous rodem were contentionless because it fulfills the condition of the contentionless. This possibly this is possible using a legacy rodem. One transponder is connected to the directions A mux D mux, and another transponder is with the same wavelength is connected to the direction B mux D mux. You can see here. This set transponder is connected to direction A. The same wavelength is connected to the direction B. The same wavelength can be added to every direction using separate transponder, and these wavelength can keep physically separate. Got it? But here colorless and direction is not there. If we use the colorless rodem instead of fordum CMD44, we can get colorless features, but directionless is still missing. So CDC setup, you can see here. This is such a system in the DWM system which has direction A, direction B, direction C. All ports are the colorless it means any port can receive any lambda and for contentionless you can see this lambda one is receiving from the direction a this is the direction a from the direction a lambda one is coming from direction b the same lambda one is coming on this port and the same lambda one is coming from this direction on this port so this is the contentionless setup if these ports are you can see here so this is a system in which you can achieve colorless directionless as well as the contentionless so is this this is the cdc setup a setup in which all the three features colorless directionless and contentionless in the is called the cdc setup if gridless or flex 
great feature is supported in the CDC is it called the CDC G setup. In below picture you can see the below features. Ports are colorless. Any port can receive or send wavelength that is the colorless. Any wavelength can move in any available direction directionless. The merged image can receive same wavelength coming from all available and different parts that is contentionless. So you can see the CDC setup case one. Again here we have choose the CCMD at cross 16. The one TXRX to one transponder is connected. Second transponder is connected and this is the th third transponder is connected. So mainly in this setup, CDC setup, we are talking about the contentionless. So we are assuming these transponder is one, two, three. These all the three transponder have the same wavelength. Means the port number one, two, port number seven, eight, port number 23, 24. These th these all these three port are receiving the same lambda and transmitting the same lambda. That is the condition of the contentionless. So this is the device CCMD at cross 16. This is the film type one. Common port is connected to you can see this MP port. This is direction A, direction B, and direction C. You can see this is connected to three different WSS to get three different directions. So suppose this transponder, this lambda is coming from direction A, this lambda is coming from direction B, this lambda is coming from direction C. So it is the contention less, but the condition is that the same lambda. Some lambda is dropping on the same device, same mux to mux device. The lambda is dropping. I mean, suppose this is the lambda one, or you can say the 1530.33 wavelength. So the all uh, these wavelength is dropping on this port number as well as on this port number as well as on this port number. But these all the same lambda is coming from three different directions. This is the condition of the contentionless. So above this is the CDC setup. The three transponder in the peak you can see. Is connected with the three port of the CCMD at cross 16. The same wavelength can be dropped and add from all the three port of CCMD at cross 16, but the direction, direction A, direction B, and direction 3, and so on, but the direction should be uh, different. Now, the same wavelength can remotely configure for any port of CCMD at cross 16, but for different direction. So, suppose we want to receive a particular lambda on this port from the direction A, the same wavelength we want to drop on the same mux t mux from the direction B and the same wavelength from the direction C. So we can configure like that the setup. Like we can con we can configure this port like this port must be received the lambda one and that lambda one is coming from direction A. We can configure that the same lambda is dropping on the same mux t mux on the different port and coming from the different direction and so on. So this is about the contention list. The same wavelength can be added or drop in the same direction. Sorry, the same wavelength cannot be added or drop in the same direction. This is called the direction list where similar wavelength can be add drop on same mux t mux. But the rule is all the similar wavelength must be going or coming from that. So let's see CDC setup two case two. You can see here this is the uh, 20 cross 1 WSS. This is the 20 cross 1 WSS. This is the 20 cross 1 WSS. So these three WSS, 20 cross 1 WSS for the three directions. This is the film type 1 and this is the again CCMD at cross 16. You can see here this is for the direction A. This is the common in and common output which is connected to the amplifier for direction A. This is for the direction B and this WSS is for the direction C. You can see here the connectivity of these WSS. WSS this WSS 20 cross 1 is connected to this switch port is connected to this port. The switch port uh, 6 you can see here the switch port 6 is connected to the FIM WSS port and for the third direction B here again it is connected to this. So this WSS 20 cross 1 the common in and common out port is going for the direction and is switch port you can say for the different switch port for the uh, different directions you can connect to this switch port to this film or again this switch to another uh, another film so this is the ccmd at cross 16 we can see here this is the lambda one from direction a this is the lambda one coming 
or sending to the towards the direction b and this is the lambda one from the direction c or sending to the direction c so this is all about the contentionless thank you